Welcome to Discovery Channel's Born Animal. My name is Irena Schultz and I will be your host for Snowball and Friends. The birds at Bird Lovers Only love scrambled eggs. Here we substitute coconut oil for butter. Step. And here we let the eggs cool down just enough so that they don't burn their crop when we go to feed them. Go ahead. This is Steph, a blue and gold macaw whose first priority is food. And Ben, a Congo African gray who has been lame since birth. Most birds just eat their eggs while a few will dance for their meal. Yeah, good stuff. Joey waits patiently while Millie has her fill of eggs. But Millie is not being very ladylike. She happily whoops down her meal while poor Joey longingly looks on. <coughs> Millie has decided to share the food that she just ate with Joey. And she shares some more. And even more. and continues to share some more. Okay guys, time to come up for air. That should tide you over. Mmm. Thanks, Millie. After breakfast, it's time for a pedicure and a little playfulness. Birds enjoy preening each other. If you take a close look, you will see pin feathers. These will emerge encased in a sheath called a quill. The quill is whitish in color and has a clear plastic-like appearance. Birds will remove the quills from the pin feathers and pairs will preen each other to remove the old sheaths. Singly kept birds will benefit from having their owners preen the new feathers in the places that they can't reach, such as their head and neck area. New blood feathers are quite sensitive, and your bird will surely let you know if you accidentally try to preen one of them. While birds are molting, they need extra moisture to prevent the feather sheath from becoming dry and hard. If this happens, then the feather will be prevented from opening. If this occurs with more than one feather during a molt, then a vitamin or mineral deficiency may be present, so a vet check is highly recommended. The green wing macaw has a very powerful beak, which can generate a pressure of 2,000 psi and can snap a broomstick in half. Their powerful beaks have evolved to crush even the hardest nuts. One day when Joey was on my arm, he began playing with the wedding band around my finger. I heard a snap and looked down, only to see the band stapled almost completely flat into my finger. My husband used pliers to get the wedding band off. Needless to say, I no longer wear any rings. Millie works at chiseling down a part of a wood toy that she just snapped in half. Now, imagine her beak around the leg of your expensive dining room table. Vegetables are a wonderful source of vitamins, what minerals, and other nutrients. Joey, Mookie, and June all enjoy eating mashed potatoes and mashed sweet potatoes. Hmm. I wonder if Snowball likes mashed potatoes. Oh, hi, Snowball. Here you go. There, mashed potatoes. You love mashed potatoes, don't you? Snowball, is that good? Is that good stuff, Snowball? Snowball, put that down! Put it down, Snowball! Oh, Snowball! Well, he certainly enjoys throwing them. Thank you for tuning in to Discovery Channel's Born Animal. 
please come again for another informative and fun-filled episode of Snowball and Friends.